Si algún día te vas de casa Yo te llevo a la NASA eh, Pido un cohete Y voy directo por ti Y si no estoy y algo te pasa Recuerda que todo en la vida cambia Y no importa lo que pase Te prometo no faltarte No me siento grande por ti Y aunque lo intentara no podría ser Que Dios te bendiga y que el resto de tu vida sea bien. Te deseo todo lo mejor y esa sonrisa que nunca te va a ver en la vida. Así te quiero ver toda la vida. Y primero Dios que esta nueva etapa que ya sea bien para ti. Dios te bendiga, Dios mi Padre. Mira tu santo. Gracias. No, no tenía que ir. Presumirte ante la gente. Me siento grande por ti. Y aunque lo intentara, no podría sin ti. Toda mi felicidad es gracias a ti. Y si yo me muero, volvería por ti. Me siento grande por ti.
day that I've been dreaming up with you, the day that I knew what happened with U.S. come, I knew the second that you started making me laugh at the library that day, that you were going to be my best friend and that we were meant to be in each other's life. Little did I know, but I soon realized that you were my soulmate and we were truly born for each other. With you, I've learned what it is for God to make someone for another, and I know you were made for me and I was made for you. Through all your perfections, flaws, every single thing, you are my perfect partner. I truly cannot imagine life without you, and I cannot wait to see what God has planned for us. Can you imagine little Julie's and little Broncos running around our house? Sounds insane, but I'm looking forward to the day where God willingly we meet the little human beings that you and I will create together. I love you so much and I promise to tell you every morning and every night with those three kisses that you can't fall asleep without. I promise to always try to be patient. I promise to love you always. And I promise to always put us above everything else. And I promise to be the best partner I can possibly be and the best mother of our future kids because I already know that you'll be such an amazing dad. Parenting may be something you already have me be. I cannot wait to walk down the altar to you today and have God bless our future matrimony. I love you, Bronco. It's me and you against the world forever. Did you copy my speech, paper? Princess, I love you. You always ask me, do you love me? The answer is yes, and it will be yes for the rest of our lives. You are my everything. My last thought when I go to bed and give you those three kisses and the first thing I see in the morning when I wake up and I see your pretty face so peaceful next to me. I'm forgetful, but I still remember the first steps in our relationship like they were yesterday. Our Rudolph face, studying and preparing for interviews together and watching scary movies. I'm so glad we still have the same playfulness to tease each other, desire to see each other succeed while pushing each other for more and the ability, the ability to take a step back and watch epi, epis together. Trust me, there's no one in the world I would have rather been locked in with for COVID and all those shows. Since the early days, I've told you I like you because you keep me on my toes. That's still true, but I can also rattle off a million reasons why I love you. You're the most dedicated person to your family and my family that I've ever met. Your innocent smile, you know the one that I'm talking about is my favorite thing in the whole world, even more than Arsenal. You encourage me to speak up in our relationship, even when it's uncomfortable. You're beautiful, smart, driven, and I could go on for hours, but you get the point. You are my best friend and make me a better person. You are the sum of the five people you spend the most time with, right? Well, the other four people don't matter when you're my number one, because you inspire me every single day. I promise to do the same for you. I promise to push you to be better while being your number one fan. Be your confidant so we can tell each other everything, especially the cheese man. Be there for your family whenever and wherever they need me. And always be on your team in any situation. I'll make you spaghetti and meatballs on our anniversary. I'll listen to your love languages. I'll grow in my faith with you and pass it on to our kids if God willingly we have them. And most importantly, I'll be the husband you deserve as we start our new family. I can't wait for this new adventure with you and for you to level up from princess to queen and wifey. I love you now and forever.
Franco, que le traigo Lisa para siempre. Cuídenos. Siempre. Y que gane los demás. Que gane la ciudad. En el nombre del Padre, y del Hijo, y del Espíritu Santo. La gracia de nuestro Señor Jesucristo, el amor del Padre y la comunión del Espíritu Santo estén con todos ustedes. My brothers and sisters, we come together today with great joy celebrating with Branco and Julissa this special moment as they begin their married lives together. Let us join them by supporting them with our prayer and praying together the prayer of the Gloria. And on earth peace to be of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King. Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. See on us, you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus, with the Holy Spirit. Oremos. Concede Dios Todopoderoso a estos hijos tuyos que hoy van a unirse por el sacramento del matrimonio, crecer siempre en la fe que profesan y enriquecer con sus hijos la familia fiel de tu iglesia. Por nuestro Señor Jesucristo, tu Hijo, que vive y reina contigo en la unidad del Espíritu Santo y es Dios por los siglos de los siglos. Please be seated. Se puede sentar. Escuchamos la palabra de Dios. A reading from the book of Tobit. On their wedding night, Tobiah arose from bed and said to his wife, Sister, get up. Let us pray and beg our Lord to have mercy on us and to grant us deliverance. Sarah got up and they started to pray and begged that deliverance might be theirs. They began with these words. Blessed are you, O God of our fathers. Praised by your name forever and ever. Let the heavens and all the creation praise you forever. You made Adam and you gave, his, you gave him his wife Eve to be his help and support. And from these two, the human race descended. You said, it is not good for the man to be alone. Let us make him a partner like himself. Now, Lord, you know that I take this wife of mine, not because of lust, but for a noble purpose. Hold down your mercy on me and on her, and allow us to live together to be a happy old age. 
they said together, Amen, Amen. The, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lectura de Carta del Apóstol San Pablo a los Olenses. Hermanos, puesto que Dios los ha elegido a ustedes, los ha consagrado a Él y les ha dado su amor. Sean compasivos, magnánimos, humildes, afables y pacientes. Sopórtense mutuamente y perdónense cuando tengan quejas contra otros. Como el Señor los ha perdonado, a ustedes y sobre todas estas virtudes tengan amor que es el vínculo de la perfecta unión que en sus corazones reine la paz de Cristo esa paz a la que han sido llamados como miembros de un solo cuerpo finalmente sean agradecidos que la palabra de Cristo habite con ustedes con todas sus riquezas Enséñense y aconsejense unos a otros lo mejor que sepan. Con el corazón lleno de gratitud, alaben a Dios con salmos, himnos, cantáticos, espirituales. Y todo lo que digan y todo lo que hagan, háganlo con el nombre del Señor Jesús, dándole gracias a Dios, Padre, por medio de Cristo. Palabra de Dios. Te alabamos, Señor.
el Señor esté con ustedes. Lectura del Santo Evangelio según San Juan. En aquel tiempo hubo una boda en Caná de Galilea, a la cual asistió la madre de Jesús. Este y sus discípulos también fueron invitados. Como llegara a faltar el vino, María le dijo a Jesús, «Ya no tienen vino». Jesús le contestó, «Mujer, ¿qué podemos hacer tú y yo? Todavía no llega mi hora». Pero ella dijo a los que servían, «Hagan lo que Él les diga». Había ahí seis tinajas de piedra, de unos cien litros cada una, que servían para las purificaciones de los judíos. Jesús dijo a los que servían, «Llenen de agua esas tinajas». Y las llenaron hasta el borde. Entonces les dijo, «Saquen ahora un poco y llévenselo al mayordomo». Así lo hicieron. Y en cuanto el mayordomo probó el agua convertida en vino, sin saber su procedencia, porque solo los sirvientes la sabían, llamó al novio y le dijo, «Todo mundo sirve primero el vino mejor». Y cuando los invitados ya han bebido bastante, se sirve el corriente. Tú, en cambio, has guardado el vino mejor hasta ahora. Esto que hizo Jesús en Cana de Galilea fue la primera de sus señales milagrosas. Así mostró su gloria, y sus discípulos creyeron en él. Palabra del Señor. Gloria a ti, Señor Jesús. Se pueden sentar, please be seated. My brothers and sisters, you can see very clearly today that the bride and the groom and their families have put a lot of work, a lot of effort into the preparation for this day. The things that they have control over, right? Because there are many details to do, many things to get ready. Even before the mass began, Something happened I've never seen before. I've only been doing this for 26 years, but they were out there, the couple, not looking at each other. There's that thing, you know, but they were speaking to each other. I don't know what they were saying, but it was clearly moving, right? And it was important to them, and it was real, I could tell that. And that's a very important thing to notice. And the readings that you just heard, chosen by them, reflect that as well. We just heard in the Spanish, I know you have it in the English there in your program, the story of the first miracle that Jesus worked, which began to draw attention to his presence in this world, that he was different, that he was someone extra, someone special, that he was, in fact, God among us. And so it happened at a wedding. And so oftentimes at weddings, this passage is chosen. It's a beautiful one to see because it shows the abundant blessings of God, but it shows them occurring in the midst of what, what you might consider a detail, right? It wouldn't have been the end of the world if the wedding party ran out of wine. But it's the Blessed Mother Mary who notices that problem. She doesn't want the family to be embarrassed. She goes to her son, Jesus. He gives an answer, which is mysterious. He said, what does this have to do with you and me? My hour has not yet come. That answer is very, very serious. Because what he was saying, he was saying to his mother, if I work a miracle right now, if I do what I can do to solve this problem, everything will change for me and for you. In other words, by working that miracle, Jesus began to walk toward his death on the cross because the presence of perfect goodness and love in this world always is opposed by evil. So there's a tension, even to this day. And so to think about that in the context of marriage, th this is a very joyful day, right? You're going to leave here, and you're going to have a great celebration. And I hope that it's focused on the reality of what's being accomplished here today. And it is something that begins, even though it has roots, right? The, the relationship between Julissa and Bronco is one that has roots, that has God's blessing in it, it has many different ups and downs that they have experienced, but they believe in God's presence, and they believe also that by making this choice, by responding to his call, 
to the vocation of marriage by giving themselves to each other in marriage, they begin to live in such a way that in this world, things change. They begin to walk the way of Jesus, which of course includes sacrifice and suffering. The way of love has to be willing to sacrifice. Our world isn't very much into that, but people still can recognize the authenticity of love that will sacrifice for the beloved. And in marriage, it becomes very obvious for whom should I sacrifice in what way a husband can see the needs of his wife, a wife can see the needs of her husband. They care about that. They should. And then if there are children, it becomes even more obvious. What should I do? And many times it goes directly against what I would prefer to do in a given moment. And so people, husbands and wives, moms and dads, regularly sacrifice out of love for each other and for their children. And so, so, so love makes us think about, see, and want to do things we would not otherwise do if we did not love. And things begin to break down when that love isn't present. And so today our prayer is one that wants to remain with them, right? It should be so that we pray always for married couples and for families, because it's challenging, but it's also really beautiful and worth it. In Spanish, they say, vale la pena. It's worth the trouble to live the call of marriage. It's a beautiful thing. And so I congratulate you, Branco and Julissa, as we prepare to have you express before God and his church and your friends gathered here your, your marriage vows. I congratulate you and we, I will, pray for you. Your families and friends will pray for you that you'll be able to fulfill very beautifully and joyfully the challenging life of married love. Hermanos y hermanas, en escuchar la palabra de Dios hoy, lecturas escogidas por Branco y Julissa, Vemos que en, en un momento, en la celebración de una boda, porque la Virgen María, celebrando, también vio la necesidad de la familia, porque no hubo más vino, ella invitó a Cristo, su Hijo, Dios entre nosotros, a responder al problema. Y esto nos ayuda porque en los detalles de la vida, día tras día, ciertamente en matrimonio, en familia, Es necesario aprender cómo reconocer la presencia de Dios, la presencia de Jesús, momento tras momento. Y ver que Él nos invita realmente a compartir su vida, caminar con Él, la vida hasta la cruz, pero incluir la resurrección, que es una victoria total. ¿Sobre qué? El pecado y la muerte. Y el matrimonio, el sacramento de matrimonio es... Una vocación de Dios que nos invita a vivir como Él vive. Mostrar frente del mundo la presencia de Dios y su amor. Porque si hay amor entre ustedes, produce frutos. Y es algo diferente, es algo distinto que el mensaje de este mundo que a veces nos invita realmente más y más a cosas que nos confunden. Entonces, les, les quiero felicitar y sus familias también, sus papás, sus amigos aquí. Le quiero felicitar y también prometer mis oraciones y invitar las oraciones de los demás porque es algo difícil pero especial. ¿Qué van a decir en unos momentos? Los votos de matrimonio son famosos. Todo el mundo sabe que incluyen lo bueno y lo malo, salud, enfermedad, todo lo que viene en la vida y no sabemos qué es. Entonces es una acción de confianza especial y grande que hacen los esposos, los novios, al momento de profesar sus votos. Están diciendo que van a confiar que Dios está presente en todo lo que viene en sus vidas y no saben qué va a haber, no saben qué es, pero reconocen que va a incluir lo bueno y lo malo. Pero Dios es más grande que la cosa más difícil. Y Dios nos invita a compartir y, y vivir vidas alegres, celebrando siempre su presencia y su amor. Entonces, invitamos hoy la intercesión de San José y de la Virgen María en este momento en que comienzan a vivir ustedes según el amor de Jesucristo. Ahora quiero invitar a los compañeros de fe, 
los damas, las damas y caballeros, venir. Please, the bridal party, come forward for the profession of vows. And the bride and groom, please stand to profess your vows. Okay, so far so good. They're coming. They're coming. The flowers from Mary came right there in the homily. Made me totally distracted, but I pushed on. Okay, there they come. There they come. Okay, okay. Queridos Branco y Julissa. Ustedes han venido aquí a la casa de Dios para que Él selle con su gracia la voluntad que tienen de contraer matrimonio ante el ministerio de la iglesia y la comunidad cristiana aquí reunida. Cristo bendice abundantemente su amor conyugal y Él que los consagró un día con el santo bautismo los enriquece hoy y les da la fuerza con un sacramento especial para que se guarden mutua y perpetua fidelidad y pueden cumplir las demás obligaciones del matrimonio. Por tanto, ante esta asamblea les pregunto sobre su intención. Branco y Julissa, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? Yes. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? Yes. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? Yes. yes. Since it is your intention to enter into the covenant of holy matrimony, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and his church. I, Branco. I, Branco. Take you, Julissa. Take you, Julissa. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Yo, Julissa. Yo, Julissa. Te recibo a ti, Branco. Te recibo a ti, Branco. Como esposo. Como esposo. Y me entrego a ti. Y me entrego a ti. Y prometo serte fiel. Y prometo serte fiel. En la prosperidad. En la prosperidad. Y en la adversidad. Y en la adversidad. Y en la salud. Y en la salud. Y en la enfermedad. Y en la enfermedad. Y así amarte. Y así amarte. Y respetarte. Y respetarte. Todos los días. Todos los días. De mi vida. De mi vida. May the Lord in his kindness strengthen the consent you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing within you. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. I invite now the Padrinos de los Anillos. El Señor bendiga estos anillos que van a entregarse el uno al otro en señal de amor y de fidelidad. Julissa received this ring. Julissa received this ring. As a sign of my love and, fide and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Okay, put it on her finger. It never fits. Here we go. Okay, so good. Branco recibe esta alianza. Branco recibe esta alianza. En señal de mi amor. En señal de mi amor. Y fidelidad a ti. Y fidelidad a ti. En el nombre del Padre. En el nombre del Padre. Del Hijo. Y del Hijo. Y del Espíritu Santo. Y del Espíritu Santo. Gracias. 
y las aras. Okay. Bless, O Lord, these aras that Branco and Julissa will give to each other and pour over them the abundance of your good gifts. Julissa, receive these aras. Julissa, receive these aras as a pledge of God's blessing. As a pledge of God's blessing and a sign of the good gifts. And a sign of the good gifts. We will share. We will share. Okay. Branco, receive estas aras. Branco, receive estas aras como prenda de la bendición de Dios. Como prenda de la bendición de Dios. Y signo de los bienes. Y signo de los bienes que vamos a compartir. Que vamos a compartir. Y ellos que presenten la Biblia y el Rosario. The Almighty God bless this holy word of God, this holy Bible, and that when Branco and Julissa read it and pray it, they will receive from him wisdom and live according to his peace. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Y los padrinos del lazo. Bendice, Señor, este lazo, símbolo de la unión indisoluble que Branco y Julissa han establecido desde ahora ante ti y con tu ayuda. Bless, O Lord, this lazo symbol of the indissoluble union that Branco and Julissa have established from this day forward before you and with your help. Keep going up on here and see the day. Please stand, por favor, de pie. Ustedes no, you're going to stay there a long time. Please stand. Dear brothers and sisters, let us accompany this new family with our prayers that the mutual love of this couple may grow daily and that God in his kindness will sustain all families throughout the world. For this bride and groom and for their well-being as a family, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For their relatives and friends, and for all who have assisted them, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for young people preparing to enter into marriage, and for all whom the Lord is calling to another state in life, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Por todas las familias del mundo y por la paz entre todos los seres humanos, roguemos al Señor. Señor, escucha nuestra oración. Por nuestros, nuestros parientes y amigos difuntos y por todos los fieles que han muerto, roguemos al Señor. Señor, escucha nuestra oración. Por la iglesia, pueblo santo de Dios y por la unidad de todos los cristianos, roguemos al Señor. Señor, escucha nuestra oración. Lord Jesus, who are present in our midst, as Julissa and Branco seal their union, accept our prayer 
and fill us with your spirit who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Okay, congratulations. So stay kneeling longer than you think every time. I don't move until I tell you. Don't stand up until I tell you. Okay, good. You're good. Congratulations. Please stand, por favor, de pie. Oren, hermanos, para que este sacrificio mío de ustedes sea agradable a Dios, Padre Todopoderoso. El Señor recibe tus manos este sacrificio para la alabanza y gloria de su nombre, para nuestro bien y el de toda su santa iglesia. Show favor to our supplications, O Lord, and receive with a kindly countenance the oblations we offer for these your servants. Join now in a holy covenant that through these mysteries they may be strengthened in love for one another and for you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you willed that the human race, created by the gift of your goodness, should be raised to such high dignity that in the union of husband and wife you might bestow a true image of your love. For those you created out of charity, you call to the law of charity without ceasing, and grant them a share in your eternal charity. And so the sacrament of holy matrimony as the abiding sign of your own love consecrates the love of man and woman through Christ our Lord. Through him, with the angels and all the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim.
por favor de rodillas. Please kneel de rodillas. Santo eres en verdad, Señor, fuente de toda santidad. Por eso te pedimos que santifiques estos dones con la efusión de tu Espíritu, de manera que se conviertan para nosotros en el cuerpo y la sangre de Jesucristo nuestro Señor, el cual, cuando iba a ser entregado a su pasión voluntariamente aceptada, Tomó pan, dándote gracias, lo partió y lo dio a sus discípulos, diciendo, Tomen y coman todos de él, porque esto es mi cuerpo que será entregado por ustedes. Del mismo modo, acabada la cena, tomó el cáliz y dándote gracias de nuevo lo pasó a sus discípulos, diciendo, Tomen y beban todos de él, porque este es el cáliz de mi sangre, sangre de la alianza nueva, eterna, que será dramada por ustedes y por muchos para el perdón de los pecados. Hagan esto en conmemoración mía. Este es el misterio de la fe. Así pues, Padre, al celebrar ahora el memorial de la muerte y resurrección de tu Hijo, te ofrecemos el pan de vida y el cáliz de salvación y te damos gracias porque nos haces dignos de servirte en tu presencia. Te pedimos humildemente que el Espíritu Santo congregue en la unidad a cuantos participamos del cuerpo y la sangre de Cristo. Acuérdate, Señor, de tu iglesia extendida por toda la tierra, y con el Papa Francisco, con nuestro Obispo Miguel, y todos los pastores que cuiden de tu pueblo, llévela a su perfección por la caridad. Acuérdate también de nuestros hermanos, que se durmieron en la esperanza de la resurrección, y de todos los que han muerto en tu misericordia. Admítelos a contemplar la luz de tu rostro. Ten misericordia de todos nosotros y así, con María la Virgen Madre de Dios, su Esposo San José, los apóstoles y cuantos vivieron en tu amistad a través de los tiempos. Merezcamos por tu Hijo Jesucristo compartir la vida eterna y cantar tus alabanzas. Por Cristo con él y en él, a ti Dios Padre Omnipotente, en la unidad del Espíritu Santo, todo honor y toda gloria, por los siglos de los siglos. Por favor, de pie, please stand. Fieles a la recomendación del Salvador y siguiendo su divina enseñanza, nos atrevemos a decir 
Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino. Hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. Perdona nuestras ofensas como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos des caer la tentación y líbranos del mal. Holy Father, maker of the whole world, who created man and woman in your own image, we and will that their union be crowned with your blessing. We humbly beseech you for these, your servants, who are joined today in the sacrament of matrimony. May your abundant blessing, Lord, come down upon this bride, Julissa, and upon Bronco, her companion for life. May the power of your Holy Spirit set their hearts aflame from on high, so that living out together the gift of matrimony, they may adorn their family with children and enrich the church. In happiness, may they praise you, O Lord. In sorrow, may they seek you out. May they have the joy of your presence to assist them in their toil and know that you are near to comfort them in their need. Let them pray to you in the holy assembly and bear witness to you in the world. And after a happy old age, together with the circle of friends that surrounds them, may they come to the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Invito a los padrinos, por favor, de lazo, venir, quitar el lazo. La paz del Señor esté siempre con ustedes. Dense fortunadamente la paz. Paz de Cristo, paz de Cristo. You can stand up. Paz de Please kneel, por favor, de rodillas. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Ahora invito a los católicos reconciliados con Dios y dispuestos a recibir la comunión, venir al frente. Si no vas a comulgar y quieres recibir una bendición, puedes venir con tus brazos cruzados en esta manera. I invite now all Catholics who are reconciled with God and properly disposed to receive Holy Communion to come forward. If you would like to receive a blessing and not receive communion, approach with your arms crossed in this way, and I will bless you.
Oremos. Please stand. Concédenos, Dios Todopoderoso, que la gracia del sacramento del matrimonio actúe de día en día en la vida de estos esposos y que la Eucaristía que hemos ofrecido y recibido nos haga vivir a todos como hermanos. Por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. May the Lord Jesus, who graced the marriage at Cana by his presence, bless you and your loved ones. Amen. May he who loved the church to the end unceasingly pour his love into your hearts. Amen. May the Lord grant the bearing witness to faith in his resurrection. You may await with joy the blessed hope to come. May Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered here, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. La alegría del Señor sea nuestra fuerza. Pueden ir en paz. And now allow me to present to you with great joy here in the house of God for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Branco and Julissa Perez. Felicidades. <laughs> Bite that tattoo 
Pasar adelante a los padres del novio. Con un fuerte aplauso recibimos a Marlene, Joanca Pérez y Freddy Pérez. El fuerte aplauso, por favor, que se escuche. Now, we are welcoming the room's parents. Un fuerte aplauso que se escuche, por favor. Give it up, que se escuche. Vamos al fuerte el aplauso. Y enseguida vamos a darle la bienvenida a los padrinos de boda con un, un fuerte aplauso. Vamos a recibir, por supuesto, que pase adelante, por favor, a Jennifer Perdomo y Gerson Zapata. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt And now, we welcome the maid of honor, the best man. Give it up, que se escuche un fuerte el aplauso.
pasar a la corte de honor, iniciando llamando a May. Y ahora we, we call the Court of Honor. May, give a round of applause. Jonathan and Luisito. In our following, we call it Brenda. Give it up, can you give it a applause, por favor? Y así mismo, Patrick and Colin. Sara, Connor, Inés, give a round of applause a Inés, un fuerte aplauso para Inés, que se escuche, vamos. En following, Connor, and Lacey, un fuerte aplauso para ellos, que también, por favor, que se escuche el aplauso. Y los últimos dos Pedimos pasar a Heidi y Adrian Un fuerte aplauso por favor Give a round of applause, give it up Y ahora todos, con un fuerte aplauso, recibimos a los nuevos esposos. Y now we welcome the new ones with a big round of applause. Un fuerte aplauso para Mr. y Mrs. Julissa y Branco Pérez. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor, que se escuche. Vamos, give it up, que se escuche.
This is a traditional dance that is performed in Bolivia. Give a round of applause. Support applause. Que se escuche fuerte. Por saber, por saber, no 
sé qué voy a hacer por saber, por saber, no sé qué voy a hacer. Esa chulita dice que tiene calzón de seda. Por saber, por saber, no sé qué voy a hacer. Por saber, por saber, no sé qué voy a hacer. Vita, miraría mi negrita. Supiere necesitar hasta que rascándose me diga toma tu suerte. Hasta que rascándose me diga toma tu suerte. Primero, quiero agradecer a todos ustedes por estar con nosotros esta noche, porque, o sea, si son invitados es porque son especiales en nuestra vida y queremos que estén con nosotros hoy día y por el resto de la vida. Um, y, o sea, en especial a mis papás, mi mamá, mi hermano, mi hermana, que desde que nací han estado ahí por mí y me han apoyado en, en todo, todo, todo. A los papás de Julie. O sea, ustedes desde el primer día me han aceptado y les prometo que siempre lo voy a cuidar y voy a hacer lo, lo correcto por ella. Y, o sea, todos los invitados, como he dicho, como he dicho antes, es que hemos querido que estén ustedes aquí con nosotros porque les vemos como parte de, esta, o sea, de nuestra familia que hoy en día estamos empezando y queremos que ustedes por toda la vida estén ahí a, a nuestro lado. And for all my boys that don't speak Spanish in this corner, um, I just want to thank you guys for coming. You guys, I mean, if you're here, it's for a purpose, like it's purposeful because we see you guys as, as part of our family. As our, as our friends for life, like you guys, I know I don't have to tell you twice, but please enjoy tonight. There's an open bar, do what, do what you will. Um, and then most importantly, I just want to thank my beautiful wife. Yeah. She has a story, tiene una historia que le gusta contar, que cuando empezamos a hablar, o sea, ella siempre me estaba queriendo conquistar y yo, yo no me daba cuenta. Y 
intentaba, intentaba, intentaba y solo quiero decirle gracias por no, no parar porque estamos aquí hoy en día y por el resto de la vida. So, And I'll translate it for the guys that didn't understand. No, I was just saying that when we started talking, Jalissa was like always trying to get my attention. I just like didn't really realize for the uh, for the first couple months. But I want to thank her for not giving up, like sticking with me through thick and thin. And I know that we made it through everything that we could make it through already, and and we can make it for the rest of our lives. So thank you guys, please, please enjoy the rest of the night. We just want you guys to have fun with us on this, our, our special night, and then please give it up for the people to, to follow. Y enseguida, la mamá de la novia. Buena, primeramente quiero darle gracias a Dios y a ustedes por acompañarnos en este día muy especial para nuestros hijos que es un día único, nunca más va a venir. Es un día de momentos, sentimientos encontrados. <risa> Pero como tengo mucho que decirle, va y se me olvida, mejor voy a leer. Okay. Hija dorada, ha llegado el día tan esperado de tu vida. Siempre soñó con este momento y gracias a Dios me ha concedido, me ha concedido verte vestida de blanco. Y no podríamos estar tan felices por ti. Te veo contenta, radiante. Siempre dibujas una sonrisa en tu rostro. Es el inicio de una nueva etapa de tu vida con quien te hace feliz. Es hora de soltar tu mano y conquistar tu propio camino. Junto al hombre que escogiste y amas y que te ama, te acompañará en esta vida maravillosa, historia de amor y ese amor perdure para siempre. Hija, gracias por ser una hija ejemplar para tus hermanos. Siempre te he admirado. Dije que no iba a llorar. Siempre te he admirado porque una hija, no sé ni cómo describirlo, porque eres mi adoración, eres mi todo. Hemos pasado momentos a veces difíciles, a veces no. Por eso... Siempre vas a hacer algo en mi vida muy especial, hija mía. Te quiero, te adoro. Okay. Branco. <ríe> eh, siempre soñé con una persona especial para mi hija y gracias a Dios llegó la persona que yo deseaba para ella. Y te escribí algo. Eres una persona especial y por ser la, pers la persona que eres, toda esta fam la familia está muy orgullosa de ti. Eres un miembro más de la familia. Gracias, yerno, por amar y respetar a mi hija. También a toda tu, fa a tu familia por ser una bella persona con Yuli, porque eres lo que quería para mi hija. Siempre pensaba en que encontrara un buen esposo y una buena familia y gracias a Dios fue así. Que Dios me lo bendiga. Willow, espero muchos nietos que vengan a mí. Give a round of applause, un fuerte aplauso que se escuche. And now following the groom's mom. Enseguida la mamá del novio. Buenas noches a todos. Uh, muchísimas gracias por su presencia. Como dijo mi hijo, su presencia aquí. Significa que él y Julissa significan mucho para ustedes, como ustedes significan mucho para ellos y para nuestra familia. No tengo nada preparado, solo quiero decir lo que siento. Ah, es nuestro segundo hijo que se casa y es diferente. Ah, todo el mundo dice, Estoy, voy a tener otra hija y eso es solo una manera de decir tal vez. Pero desde que te conocimos, Julissa, tú sabes que hemos, te hemos abierto las puertas de nuestra casa, de nuestros corazones. Nuestra, nuestra manera de ser te gustó y a mí me ha encantado cómo eres. Uh, espero que tengan una unión llena de amor, respeto, 
paz. Yo también quiero, no muchos, pero algunos cuantos nietos. Uh, muchos de ustedes conocen a Branco desde que era un bebé. Gracias de nuevo por estar aquí, por acompañarnos, por ser parte de nuestras vidas. A todos los que han llegado de otros estados, de otros países, como mi hermana, mi cuñada, los sobrinos, um, los familiares de Yulisa también. Muchísimas gracias por hacer ese esfuerzo. Los queremos mucho. And to you guys, thank you very much for being part of Branco and Julissa's life. If you're here, it's because you mean a lot to them and to us too. Enjoy the night y de nuevo gracias. Sean felices y Dios me los bendiga siempre. Un aplauso enseguida viene la hermana del novio. And now following the groom's sister, Brenda. Hi, hola a todos. Para que, los que no me conozcan, soy la hermana de Branco, la hermana mayor de Branco. Um, voy a hablar en Spanglish, so there's a little bit of something for everybody. <laughs> um, cuando le conocí a Julissa, Branco e ella ya estaban saliendo por un año porque yo no estaba viviendo aquí. Y I heard a lot of stories about her, and they were like, oh, she's really similar to you. Like, you guys would get along. Um, And it's true, you know, like, le conocí, éramos bien parecidas. Las dos somos las hermanas mayores. So we are fiercely protective of our little siblings, even though they annoy the crap out of us sometimes. <laughs> um, sorry. Hay un dicho, like, there's a saying that you marry your parents. Like, you find somebody that's like your mom or your dad because that's like the role model in your life. Um, and una de las primeras veces que nos conocimos, um, mi ahora esposo estaba ahí también, and we realized that Jalissa and I are basically the same person, and Bronco and Jose are basically the same person. So it just worked out really well. Y I never knew what it was like to have a sister. I'm not going to look at you. Um, because I grew up with brothers. Entonces, cuando me peleaba con mis hermanos, you know, I could just punch them and be like, just shut up, like, you're so annoying. Um, pero con hermanas es diferente. Y thank you for teaching me what it is like to have a sister. Because that is just such a different relationship than anything I've ever experienced in my life. Um, so, gracias por cuidarlo a mi hermano. Y gracias por darme una hermana. I really wish you guys both the best. And I'm so thankful to have you in our lives. So, congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Perez. Un aplauso, por favor, que se escuche. Enseguida, la mejor amiga de la novia. And following the bride's best friend. Heidi, give a round of applause para Heidi, un fuerte aplauso. Woo! How's everyone doing tonight? <laughs> well, I would like to first say thank you, Julissa and Bronco, for having us tonight, celebrating your beautiful matrimony. I've known Julissa since middle school, And it's been such a privilege and an honor to see you grow in such a lovely, smart, tenacious, caring, loving, and humble, I can't even speak right now, I'm so sorry, humble and loyal woman. You inspire me to be a better person every single time we have our deep talks. You always, are, you always give me the best advice, which truly um, I cherish because in the society we live in now, everyone thinks differently about relationships and what it should be. The way that you view your relationship matches what I want. I'm so happy life brought you Bronco. The way that, I'm so sorry. Un aplauso fuerte que se escuche, vamos. Give a round of applause, let me hear it. I'm so happy life brought you Bronco. The way the two of you push each other to better the world. It's truly beautiful. Thank you, Bronco, for treating my best friend with so much love, respect, compassion, and just treating her like a princess as she is. 
The two of you will be the best parents ever. They're going to be raised in the most fun, loving household, and I can't wait to take care of them. Cheers to Julissi and Bronkissi. <laughs> Y enseguida tendremos la dama de honor, que así mismo hermana de la novia, Jennifer, the maid of honor, and the sister, the bride's sister as well. Jennifer, give a round of applause, un fuerte aplauso. Hola, mi nombre es Jennifer y soy la dama de honor y la hermana menor de Yolisa. Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer and I'm the maid of honor and Yolisa's younger sister. <laughs> And although I'm not the best at speeches, Julissa would have definitely killed me today if I didn't come out here to say some words. Having grown up with Julissa, I definitely know the type of person she can be. She is a very overprotective older sister who can be crazy, bossy, dramatic, and as Bronco already knows, a very scary at times. And now that Bronco has married Julissa, he is pretty much stuck with her forever. So good luck dealing with her for the rest of your life. Growing up, I also always had to share a room with Julissa, and I can assure you that we used to argue and pull each other's hair all the time. So it was definitely one of the best days of my life when she moved out with Bronco and I finally had my own room. <laughs> But in all seriousness, it was also one of the saddest moments of my life. I was no longer going to have the person I would always stay up with and talk to anything about. Although this was true, I knew no matter where Julissa was, she would continue being there for me And there are just one of the many qualities that I admire about Julissa. I remember a moment back in high school when I had to write an essay about a person that I looked up to, and without hesitation, I decided to write about Julissa. I know that as the oldest sibling, you've always had it the hardest, but I truly could not have asked for a better older sister than you. I saw how hard you worked your whole life to achieve what you wanted, while always prioritizing your family no matter what. Now that you're married to Bronco, I know that he saw these qualities in you and more. Julissa, always being there for everyone all the time, deserves to have someone who will always be there for her, and I'm just so glad that the person is Bronco. Throughout Julissa's relationship with him, I've seen her grow so much. I can really describe her as being patient and understanding, which are adjectives that I truly never thought I was going to be able to use to describe her. I even remember our first beach trip with Bronco, and on the first night there, my drunk dad decided it was a great idea to wake up Bronco at four in the morning to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with him. This is the one I thought would scare away Bronco forever from being with Julissa, as he probably thought and has come to find out that our family is absolutely crazy. But to my surprise, he came back. I am truly glad he stuck around because I have come to see him as an older brother. He, like Julissa, is always there for family and is one of the funniest, smartest, and kindest people I know. Him alongside his family are truly amazing people that you can always count on for anything. Now that Julissa and Bronco are officially husband and wife, I want to wish them both a long, happy marriage, and I'll be waiting to hopefully become an aunt soon. <laughs> Every time I see you both with kids, I know for a fact that you two will be one of the best parents. I want you to both know that I will always be there for you guys in the way you all have been there for me. And although I have never said this out loud before to you both, I want to take this moment to say I love you both very much, and I can't wait to con continue creating more memories with you. Los quiero, los quiero mucho y vivan un matrimonio feliz. Gracias. Un aplauso fuerte. Y enseguida, padrino de boda, le pedimos pasar a The Best Man, Gerson. Give a round of applause, un fuerte aplauso que se escuche. Hola. Bienvenidos, damas y caballeros, a esta noche maravillosa donde celebramos a dos personas muy especiales a todos y especialmente para mí, los novios Branco y Julissa. Tenemos muchos invitados aquí um, que no me conocen o no me conocen mucho, pero mi nombre es Gerson Zapata y soy el mejor amigo y best man de Branco. Um, lo los siento adelantado, por, pero mi español es, está un poco mal. Estoy practicando. 
Branco y yo hemos sido cuates desde chiquitos a través de nuestros padres. Siento como si fuera ayer, fuimos niños en los días de oro. Uh, siempre hicimos sleepovers en la casa de cada uno y jugábamos videojuegos hasta quemar las pestañas. Cuando fuimos adolescentes, desarrollamos los mismos intereses como deportes, ejercicios, y en vez de jugar videojuegos, descubrimos a las mujeres. El Branco siempre ha sido atlético y le ha gustado los deportes, especialmente el fútbol. Tuvo mucho éxito jugando en su equipo de high school, sus travel teams y los millones de otros equipos que juegan su tiempo libre. Te, cu te, oh. <ríe> te cuento que es un jugadorazo. Um, Podría ser un refuerzo al equipo boliviano. <ríe> Branco siempre ha sido un jugador talentoso que yo siempre quise ser. Y tal vez yo era el bailarín que él quise ser. <risa> Branco y yo seguimos en contacto por los años y nos encontramos de vez en cuando. Pero hoy en día más que nunca. En las mañanas, él me acompaña a hacer ejercicios. Salimos a los ballers para tomar unas cuantas. Jugamos bastante fútbol y mucho más. Lo más que me gusta de él es que nunca olvidó de nuestra amistad de tanto tiempo y que tiene las mejores cualidades de un amigo, como ser generoso, sincero y leal. Siempre ha sido mi amigo fiel y estoy agradecido tenerlo en mi vida. Those are manly tears. <laughs> Desafortunadamente, no he podido visitarlo a su universidad de Virginia Tech, pero él siempre me contaba de las fiestas de su fraternidad y de los partidos del fútbol americano y de qué tanto son divertidos. Me siento muy feliz de saber que sus experiencias hacen una gran parte de cómo se transformó en un hombre. La universidad le enseñó muchas cosas importantes, como ser un profesional, cómo seguir su propio camino en la vida y cómo consumir mucho alcohol. Sin embargo, lo más importante de todo fue en esa época donde Branco conoció al amor de su vida. Nadie más ni nada menos que Julissa Perdomo. O mejor decimos ya la Julissa Pérez. From the day I met Julissa, which was at Bronco's graduation party some years ago, I had some feeling that she had already knew me somehow. And that kind of tells me that Bronco talked about me a lot to Julissa. But I hope, she, I hope that he only shared the good things about me. Um, she is the type of person who can get along with anyone and make them feel welcomed at any occasion. Um, thank you for being such a great friend and always including Jessica, my wife, and I in everything you guys do. Jalissa is smart, beautiful, ambitious, and has a great sense of humor and is kind. And kind enough that she laughs at most of my jokes, even though they're not really that funny. Thank you for always being your genuine self. You're a total vibe and so much fun to be around. And I'm so happy that Bronco gets to spend the rest of his life with you. <laughs> to Bronco and Alyssa, I want you to know that I'm truly thankful to be a part of your special day, and I'm super excited to see what the future holds for the both of you. I'll continue to look forward to going on our double dates, going to all the parties, dinners, hopefully starting new traditions with our future little ones. As what was once said to me, there is no turning back now. Which is the exact same thing that I thought when I jumped out of a plane for Bronco a few weeks back to his bachelor party. In marriage, you will face ups and downs, 
But I have no doubt that you two will overcome any challenge that you may face because of your love and determination for each other. With that being said, I want to end this speech with some marriage advice from your friend with a whopping four months of marriage experience. Number one, love, trust, and appreciate one another. And don't forget to take out the trash, Bronco. Number two, Jalissa is always right. Number three, if for some reason Jalissa isn't right, please refer to my last advice. <laughs> Number four, your wife will always be more important than soccer. Starting December 19th, after Brazil wins the World Cup. Um, okay. Con todo eso, ya quiero que comience la fiesta. Um, para que Branco pueda estrenar sus pasos de punta. Por favor, pido a todos que levanten sus copas. Quiero desear a Branco y Julissa mucho éxito en la vida. Un matrimonio siempre próspero, con mucha felicidad, paz y amor. Recuerdan siempre amar a cada uno como si fuera el primer día. Disfruten mucho que la noche es tuya. Siempre los tendré en mi corazón. A Branco como el hermano y a Julissa como el hermana. Los amo muchísimo. Salud. Un aplauso fuerte una vez más que se escuche el aplauso fuerte. You know that sometimes I think about us now and then, but I never wanna fall again. Ah. Yo no te quisiera olvidar, pero contigo es todo nada. You're deep in more, yeah, you're drowning us You question my love like it's not enough But I hate that you know, you know, you know You got me tied up You regret it now, but it's your mistake What makes you think that my mind will change And you hate that you know, you know, you know, you know You messed up One day you'll love me again One day you'll love me for sure En un viaje escondido Nos vamos pa' trucks en quejos Y allí calmamos la cana Suéltate conmigo, mamá Que ya no hay marcha atrás Una noche sin ti No es tan fácil, baby Que yo soy pa' ti Y tú eres pa' mí Nunca me dejes de querer
find your love, I'm your friend. Don't trust the world of friend. Chemicals hide with the skeletons. Don't trust that false pretense. Kind of fit lies are your best defense. I say, ooh, ooh, ooh. we've got to, got to, got to go home. Change quickly as we'd like to, as we need to. And I'm worried it will backspin, pulling out the linchpin, leaving us victims. Don't trust. 